Hello and welcome to Keep Your Daydream. I'm Trish and this is Mark. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you one guess what we're gonna talk about today. This is part one of our video series, Making Sense of Solar. We are so excited to be working with Xamp and battery systems. Why? Because we needed to figure out what yes. the heck this was all about. And the best part we was- We knew nothing. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> goose eggs. And uh, the best part though is that they are educating us and then we get to pass the information to you. Yeah, all of the partners that we worked with to date have been so awesome with what can we do for your community? Yes. What can we offer the community? When we toured ZAMP, which you're gonna see on this weekend's video, uh, Morgan said, oh, by the way, come over here. I have a couple things I'd like to give away to your audience. We're like, score. And when we were with Josh from Battery Systems, he gave an offer to do your solar math that I think is gonna be awesome. So we're gonna dive into that. An offer you won't wanna refuse. <laughs> hey. so stay tuned to the end in terms of how we're gonna be giving these things away, but let's dive right into the topic of making sense of solar. Like Trish said, we do nothing when we first started and there were a bunch of misconceptions that we had there were misconceptions that our kids had for sure about how solar works. Where does this go in the solar panel? <laughs> no kidding. We really didn't know much. And so we wanted to kind of have an introductory video to break it down. But let me, let me describe who this video is for. If you have a travel trailer like we do, or maybe even a fifth wheel that came with one 12 volt battery, and you've been considering solar because you want to keep things charged and be more sustainable, you enjoy dry camping, then what we're going to do is break down solar. Like what are the misconceptions? how it works. What are your needs when you're dry camping? Yeah, and then we're also gonna talk about why we moved from one 12 volt to two six volt batteries. And then I'm gonna break down this setup and share with you how I installed the two six volt batteries, the inverter, and how the whole solar thing works and how we kind of make the most of it. So yes, that's what this video is about. But first let's talk about like why we moved to solar in the first place. I don't like cooking in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> no dungeon cooking, that's what I call it. It's one tiny little light over your little tiny stove yeah. and everything is dark and kids have headlamps on to eat, I'm just over it. We enjoy kind of being away from the RV parks. We enjoy being in these really pretty areas and like using- Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree is a perfect example. Absolutely the most amazing environment in the dark. <laughs> I mean, I've got a headlight, on, a headlamp on to looking for my shoes because our one 12 volt battery didn't keep all the lights on. Yes, uh, by eight o'clock at night, it felt like everything was over. Mm -hmm. And really eight o'clock at night, that's when our whole like nighttime begins. We have teenagers. Dinner is <laughs> over. And that's when we start like having fun and chilling out and we couldn't even see each other. Yeah, and the kids were complaining about like, dad, my computer's dead. Be like, where's dad? And he's in the front seat of the car with it on. Cause we got it. plugged it into the back. That's not our vein, right? Right. Our, our being is about having your resources, mm -hmm. having the things that you enjoy, yes. and being in the really pretty places. You're going to have needs as well. You're still not gonna want to make dinner in the dark. That's You're right. still gonna want to put your awning out and bring it in when you need to and put mm -hmm. your slide out and have enough energy to turn on your heater. Yeah. So we're gonna break that, all that down in this video. So let's dive right in to the first topic. And that I, is? I can't remember. <laughs> understanding understanding solar. solar. Okay, so. Remember, this is an intro to solar. Yeah, we're not gonna so, dive super into the watts and the amps because there'll be another video for that. So let's break it down. It starts with the sun. The sun comes down and it hits this panel and that creates energy which is transferred into either a controller or in our case, it goes directly into our batteries, mm -hmm. our two six volt batteries. So it's like you're filling the sun's rays back into your battery. That's right. right? That's right. That's and then, the fuel. And then from the batteries, the batteries go into an inverter basically to convert the power from DC to AC. And if everything in the travel trailer ran off of a DC current, you wouldn't need an inverter, mm -hmm. but it doesn't. As you know, we've got laptops, we've got you know coffee makers, you've got TVs, you've got all that stuff that runs off of one of these guys. So we've got the sun comes into the panel, the panel then goes into the batteries, the batteries then go into an inverter, and then the inverter goes to your outlets or it goes directly to your panel to provide power into the uh, travel trailer, fifth wheel, motorhome, whatever it is. So when you're out dry camping, wild camping, BLMing, whatever you want to call it, when you're not connected to power or an RV park's power, 
then you're running completely off of your batteries. And the job of these solar panels are to keep your batteries topped off so it can continue to provide power to your appliances in your coach. Number two, let's talk about boondocking needs. Mm. For us, we need to have our lights running. We mm -hmm. need to be able to turn on the heater if we need to. Mm -hmm. We need to be charging our laptops, cameras, drone. <laughs> and remember, there's like five people. Yep. So there's a lot of little things a lot of draw. that need to be replenished. Yep. So how long are you gonna really be out there? Maybe you're gonna be quadding for in the sand dunes for like four days. Or maybe mm -hmm. you wanna go to Joshua Tree for the week and you wanna boulder or you wanna go on a backpacking slash mountain bike ride and you want to be able to come back get refreshed and go back out again meaning that your power needs while you're dry camping may be different than your power needs at an rv park when you're out yes. dry camping you may like for instance for us when we're dry camping the tv isn't as important things like this i think i think looking at your dry camping needs and saying how do they differ than my than my RV park needs is mm -hmm. an important place to start before you dive into all the amps. But right. let's talk quickly about what these coaches or what a travel trailer uh, or what an RV really needs. You've got all the power on the RV in terms of like onboard power. You've got your, for us on a travel trailer, you got your tongue jack that requires power. Mm -hmm. I've got my awning that requires power. We got the thermostat that requires power. The water pump requires power all of the LED lights. The slide. And the slide, okay? Those are the essential things that require power that I will need power to at all times without any exception. When those things stop working, we have problems, okay? <laughs> so that's like the first tier of what the coach needs power for. Yes. The second tier are, the th are some of the conveniences. For us, the absolute main priority is computers, phones, and cameras. Yes. We're making videos once or twice a week the kids are in school, I'm working, um, our stuff needs to be charged all the time. And times five of us, we're talking about 10 to 12 devices at any given time, that's a lot of power. It's a lot of power. Yeah. Okay, that's the second tier. Now the third tier. And that's where we're hanging out. We're hanging out in that first little bit of that mm -hmm. second tier. We're not going into TV watching blendering, drying our hair, making no. food all at the same time. No, and I would, say, not doing I would that. say that's the third tier of the conveniences, that your TV's working and that your coffee maker's working and, yeah. and, and maybe even your air conditioning, if depending on your setup. So those are kind of the, con the conveniences in that tier, which we're far from. Yes, so we're hanging out in the intro level today. Yeah, yeah. That's where first, we are. First tier and the second tier. So this might be the perfect time for us to talk about battery systems and what they offered you guys in yeah. order to understand what your battery needs are. Yeah, when we were when we made the decision to move from a 12 volt battery to two 6 volt batteries, I guess I just thought that all 6 volt batteries were the same, uh, and they're not. So a deep cycle 6 volt battery, also referred to as a golf cart battery, gives you more amp hours. So basically that one 12 volt battery we had, had roughly 75 amp hours, and the six volt golf cart batteries that we have have 216 amp hours per battery. So the equivalent is we took one 12 volt battery out and put in two six volts right on the tongue jack, right where they previously were. And it's the same as having roughly three 12 volt deep cycle batteries. Mm -hmm. And so when we were working with Josh from battery systems and we were saying, okay, you know, how much amp hours do you guys draw? And so I was looking on this charger and I would look down at the charger and I'd say, okay, this thing draws 4.25 amps. And then I would take a look at the phones and I would look at their plug and what does it draw and I look at the lights and we created this whole spreadsheet of all the amp hours that it would charge or that it would draw and then Josh started creating something called solar math. It's and it's so much fun and I know you <laughs> want to do it on your own but let Josh help you. <laughs> but Josh said look this stuff can get kind of confusing if you really want to get into the details and build the proper system. He made the offer of saying, just have any of your subscribers send me an email mm -hmm. and I will help them do all, all of the solar math for them. That way you can create the proper battery bank yes. for your for your rig, which I think is enormous. And then they have several battery options because it's yeah. not just one kind of battery. So That's he's right. gonna find the right battery for you the and right, your rig. The right battery, the right amp hours, and the right setup so that you can get started off on the right on the right track. So yeah. uh, Josh's email is in the description below, but everything we're gonna talk about today is on keepyourdaydream.com forward slash solar. That way when we uh, review the footage and we realize all the stuff that we forgot to say, we can put it there. So head over there yes. and then that is just gonna continue to evolve. And it's a growing 
That's right. It's going to be like a growing document because, like I said, we're this is the beginning, mm -hmm. and we're going from here. So yeah. this yeah. will so be as we, a as footprint. We, as we continue to work with Zamp, and there's more offers, and there's more uh, things that will benefit you, then we're able to just put it on forward slash solar. So yes. go check that out and take Josh up on his offer. I think that's huge. Yeah. Um, there, the reason that we worked with Battery Systems is not only are they a leader in batteries, and and they specifically work with RV and RVers but they're a nationwide company, which was important to us. So that way, if you had needs, you could just go to their website and you can find out exactly which state they're in and where they'll just ship you stuff. So yes. that was important to us rather than working with someone that was only like on the West Coast, let's say. Yeah. Okay, so just as kind of a recap to the second topic, I think understanding how you dry camp versus how you camp at an RV park is important. And then understanding what draw you're going to have. Like, can you live without the TV while you're dry camping? Or do you absolutely want the TV and the coffee maker running? These are things you're gonna have to decide. And then how long do you want those things to run? Mm -hmm. And how much do you want to draw? And right. then that'll determine if you need like a 600 watt inverter like we have just to keep, just to keep our laptops charged. Mm -hmm. Or do you want to go up to 1500 watt inverter so that all the outlets in your rig are hot? Or do you want to go to a 3000 watt inverter and therefore not only are all your outlets hot, but your coffee maker's working and you're watching TV at the same time. You're sipping fresh coffee while watching TV and blow drying your hair. In the middle of nowhere. Train. This is seriously the longest train I've ever, ever experienced, I swear. They're stretching. Okay, and the third thing is why we moved from a 12 volt battery to two 6 volt batteries. And I think I've pretty much already covered this, but just as a recap, more amp hours means we can be dry camping for longer mm -hmm. it means that we can keep we can stay above the 50 percent threshold of an acid uh, lead battery and yes basically just get more usage i mean it yeah. was it was the it was the first step to triple the amount of power that we're able to get while dry camping okay so now let me explain our exact setup and how this whole thing works because before we had the solar and the batteries i really had no idea how or where i was going to plug my laptop in i just didn't understand how it works so Basically, we have one outlet in the master of the travel trailer, and this outlet has uh, basically two two plugs and two USBs in it. Yes. And this is in this is basically in our room, right next to our bed. I purchased that outlet at Home Depot, and then that uh, those cords go straight into the inverter that I installed in the forward nose of our travel trailer, named Ginger. So the inverter is up on the side wall. And then that cord goes from the inverter, it goes down underneath through the frame, which was very easy just to drill a hole straight down. And that cord goes directly to the two six volt batteries on the two available terminals because those two six volt batteries are in series, which means that there is a big red cable that connects uh, to the terminals, turning those two six volt batteries into basically a one 12 volt system. Mm -hmm. So basically everything in your RV needs to be running on a 12 volt system. In the newer RVs, they're gonna say they're solar ready, which means they have this little outlet on the mm -hmm. side of the RV, so you can plug your solar system straight into this. Yeah, so this so you is don't my... have to clip them directly to the um, batteries. Yeah, and then with the can, alligator clips. And then you can get extension cords and then you can put your solar like way out, especially if you're dry camping yeah. and you wanna be somewhere in the shade, you can put your solar way out into the, yeah, and, you know. and sometimes that's the disadvantage to some of the rooftop units is that you want to be under a tree to get some shade and there's no there's no power. So having a portable system might be a good accessory to your existing solar system yes. so that you can move it around wherever you want and still replenish those batteries to keep you sustainable while yes. dry camping. When we toured Zamp and Bend, which is this weekend's video, what I was it was really cool to see that they had these adjustable clips on their rooftop units. Oh my So gosh. you could move the clips anywhere you want on the panel mm -hmm. so that you had you could you had the choice of where you wanted to install them on your roof. We can't wait to show you the tour. I mean they're out there like polishing the panels before they get put into the boxes. And I think part of that is because it's all US made. Okay, let's get to these giveaways because we're super excited about that. Trish take it away. Okay, we have two giveaways. The first one is for everyone to enter to win. This is a four bar LED light system. And the second one over here, Mark, mm -hmm. you have to help me. What is well, this? Well, it's for our patrons and this is a 40 watt portable solar unit. Let's get into this. How do you get well, your hands on this puppy? First of all, check this thing out. This is four 
bars of LED, which you can use for your awning. You could use in like one of those pop-up tents. You know those little Skeeter tents? Yeah, <laughs> Mosquitoes? Yeah. <laughs> you can put um, them all up at the top so you can see each other. Crazy, crazy bright. If you want to enter to win this, and we really do appreciate everybody that has been along for this crazy ride and subscribing and helping us grow. So this is a great way to say thanks to you. Yes. Uh, pop on over to Instagram. Look for this picture and in the comments of that picture is exactly how to enter to win this guy next week. So now let's talk about how to enter to win this bad boy. Basically just become a KYD insider and you can click that link or there's a link down below. We've been having so much fun with the KYD insiders. We send out a ginger, we send out a koozie and just an opportunity for us to get to see mm -hmm. your adventure because that really is so much fun for us. We have learned so many things from everybody's comments down below on the regular videos and also in the insiders when people share with us hey I went on this trip and I did this and look we brought ginger to the Eiffel Tower we did you know so many awesome it's, things. it's a smaller community it's been a lot of fun for us to get to know you so if you'd like to enter in to win this guy and be part of the KYD community click that link I hope solar makes a little bit more sense for you yes. and this is just part one of the solar videos we're still gonna dive into the batteries mm -hmm. And we're still, anytime we learn something new or we make an upgrade, we'll do a video so that you are up to speed. Yes. So join us this weekend and we find out what happened to the truck and so much more. Oh. So we'll see you guys next weekend. Bye. Bye. Sweet. Oh, that's going to be good. That's a nice little prop. What'd you say? Look at this. What? Is the mic on? Yeah, mic's even on. It's even full. Oh, really? Yeah, it's lights are blinking. It's ready to rock and roll. I want you to have some fun. Well, of course it is. Yeah. Yeah. Great.